The Roxy Pro France is underway. Semi-final number one, Carissa Moore took the win over Lakey Peterson, and we are now into our second semi-final with all of the French fans on the sand to cheer on Joanne DeFay, who is up against the Californian, Caroline Marks. So impressive to see how much love and support the French people are getting. Everyone coming down. Joanne DeFay up and out on her opening ride. So these two women have opted to move to the inside section. Throughout today, all of our competitors have been out at Lenord surfing the back line, but now Joanne and Caroline are the first, the guinea pigs for La Graviere, down on the inside right on the shoreline for the fan. And a paddle now for Joanne DeFay. The locals supporting massive drop. Goes in for a nice big hack under the lip. Straightens out before getting eaten by the foam. Wow, look at that cascading white water around her. A lot of foam. It's funny too, because when you speak to the ladies after their, their heats, they're just saying there's so much sand everywhere. The intensity of this ride. Look at it gurgling up there. She had it so well to maintain her composure on that first turn option. Look as she just gets obliterated on that inside section. Well, a little bit of shampoo and a couple of times to wash the hair out just to get the sand out coming oh. in from the water here. So many barrels on offer. Here we go, split peak. Well, Caroline Marks, big drop on her forehand. The goofy foot opting for the left. Nice slash back into the foam and a kick out. It looks so rippy in there. It is this so much water i mean we saw the ladies surfing out the outside all of that water that you saw all that energy is really being sucked in into this inside section and last of caroline marks caroline negotiates that drop comes around the section digs that rail in and a little hair flick over the shoulder <laughs> this wave was joanne's attempt before caroline took off on that wave beautiful snap on her backhand gets a two-turn combo Completes that run on the sand. So fun. She had her whole family there, both of her brothers, giving her the chair up the beach. Let's see what she does on this one. Wow, beautiful wave opening up in front of her. Great section. Digs in the rail, straightens out right under the lip. Complete massive maneuver. That wave was huge. Caroline Marks stroking into a set wave of her own. There the rail almost digs. She keeps her composure, lands it. Hear the applause from the surf fans on the beach. Watch this bottom turn from Caroline. She winds it up with her head and shoulders, digs that rail in, right there it catches. She keeps her composure, it's that low center of gravity. She's over the stringer of her surfboards and she completes that move. Very critical and a crucial ride out for Car Caroline. Wow, so curious to see where the judges go. And Marks in the lead with a six point ride. Driving in to a nice check turn off the top. Frothy section kicks out right underneath that lip. She's sitting in the lead. Joanna Faye now with priority out the back, chasing a 4.61 to take the advancing position. She's got a couple of threes on the board. She had a couple of completed maneuvers, but she's going to be looking for something to bring that point of difference. Rosie, what's, what's it going to take? You have a section. Just kick that tail out. Watch Caroline. Easy flow to that point and then kicks it out as she gets to the lip line. So just such a beautiful option on this wave because you're out on the open face. You don't have much option but to like bring it back. But right here, there's that emphasis on the tail. She throws all her power at it. Tail slide and look at that milky frothy section. I think Caroline right there, she matched the power of that wave. She knew that that wave was gonna push back at her. Even though she, though she was out, far out on that open face, it still had that push to it. Surfing and, um, you know, the world title is still there, so I'm not going to count myself out until it's done. Appreciate your time and, of course, make it for an ex exciting year. Yeah, and um, congrats, Carissa. She was surfing really well, and I respect her a lot, so great job to her. During the break, Caroline Marks. Caroline heads to her trusty backhand again. Late hit to the lip. Watch as she free falls out of this lip line. So Beautiful, like we mentioned, that low center of gravity loses connection with that wave, manages to maintain her feet on her board. A hero. So deep. Now on her backhand. Beautiful move there for Joanne. For a split second, Joanne DeFay found a wave. 
hunts down the tube. Joanne de Fay pulling into the closeout. Joanne de Fay with the support from the crowds dumps out under the barrel. Six minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. She's still chasing that excellent score to advance. Yeah, Joanne. Gonna, desperation is going to set in. Watch it go under this one. For those women, Carissa and Lakey were surfing out the back. And Joanne having a look. Under priority, takes a steep drop. The crowd goes wild, but that wave doesn't open up for her. I love that about Joanne, though. She's not afraid to give it a nudge. That wave was reeling down the line. Had to take that late drop. She's going to take this one on the head. For Caroline Marks to advance into the finals is a great achievement after her last two appearances here in the Roxy Pro, knocking out in round two. For her now to make that comeback and get into the finals. So amazing. I'm so proud of all of the ladies competing in these conditions. Jeanne Defay never giving up. The seat winding down. She's made the semifinals a great result for her too. She's had such a great run so far this year, getting a second place at our last event at the Surf Ranch and feeling all the emotions to go down here in front of our home crowd. A well done to Joanne DeFay and a massive congratulations to Caroline Marks.